Scientists are studying the last of the Adza, an African population that lives off the land because their way of life is considered a baseline for human evolution. Uh, recently, a documentary about them premiered in Washington. VOA's Caroline Turner has more. The documentary is titled Hadza, Last of the First. Tanzania's Great Rift Valley is the home of the ethnic group. Some 300 live as hunter-gatherers and foragers, like their ancestors did for thousands of years. The Hadza are the only people now living in Africa who, just a few hundred of them, are actually practicing a hunting and gathering way of life full-time, relying on no agricultural resources at all. <laughs> I live up here in the highlands. I have lived here all my life. In our search for origins, we start with people alive today and trace back in time, Again, taking this genealogical approach, constructing a family tree. Genetically speaking, I think the Hadza trace back to the first people to live in East Africa. They have been living continuously in the same place for tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of years. There's far fewer people connected to nature now, and certainly no one connected in the way the Hadza are. To them, the land belongs to the animals, and they're just borrowing it for the time being. By the time the Hadza are five, they can hit targets. We go and kill small birds. We bring them here, and then we eat them. By the time they are 10, they are bringing home a lot of small game. I see it, I kill it, I bring it home. Civilization has been closing in. Producer-director Bill Benenson says the Hadza were never forced to claim their land until now. They never really had a concept uh, that we know of that the land actually could belong to anyone except the animals. So the idea of private property and that they needed to assert that they owned their own land was a very alien concept. At the core, they're real activists, environmental activists. But things are now changing. We are truly unable to maintain our old way of life. Now we worry about losing all of our land. It's an agrarian crisis. It's a political crisis. It's a development crisis. If things keep going the way they are, and people continue to come here, we will be finished, gone forever. Benenson says the Hadza should be allowed to choose the way they live. And unless we, from the outside, assist them, both politically and with land right um, initiatives, to gain control over their homeland, um, it's basically the feeling of most outsiders who have looked at this, that they will be forced off their land and their way of life and their society will be destroyed. The film presents theories about the origin of mankind and was partially funded by the Nature Conservancy as a fundraiser to help the Hadza buy their own land. Carolyn Turner, VOA News. Now that's being real, one with nature, isn't it? And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com for more news. Tune in to VOA's evening radio show, Africa News Tonight at 1800 UTC. And in the mornings today, break Africa between 0, 0300 and 0, 0600 UTC, Monday through Friday. Thanks a lot for watching. From all of us in Washington, have a good night. See you tomorrow.